hello, hello, and welcome to the Southern Bell NOLA channel. I'm your host, Bell. Thank you ever so much for joining me on this Viewer's Choice Bargains episode. This is my favorite auction because this is the auction where y'all got to vote on the theme. So I am ever so excited about this cold weather winter theme of uh, cold items at hot prices. So, and I want to thank my moderators for coming up with that particular theme. And I want to thank y'all for voting on that theme. You know, sometimes it's a landslide which theme wins. And it was just barely that this theme won over the theme of Kitchen Corner. So we'll see what next week's theme is. The moderators and I already have the three choices. We picked them out on Thursdays at our mod meeting. And one of the choices we're going to put in was actually a viewer suggestion. I don't necessarily want to dox anybody. If the viewer wants me to say who it was, I will. If she wants to keep it private, I will. But, um, that viewer will see her choice in the options that I upload tonight for next week's auction. So let me make a few announcements. The first announcement is that Wednesday and Thursday are my packing days, my weighing days, my calculating shipping days, and then my sending of invoices. If you want to be first, let them read time and want to be last, or even need to be invoiced on some particular different day that just works with your banking schedule, let Lisa know in the chat. Otherwise, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be madly dashing to do all that. Then on Friday and Saturday, I'll be back at 7 a.m. Central Standard with more Bargains by Bell auctions. As always, we will take Then We're back next Monday and Tuesday with more Bargains by Bell. So let me welcome some people in the chat. I see we have my moderator and list maker extraordinaire, Lisa Adventure, and she put out some great videos this week. She had two super cute shorts. So if you're not already subscribed to her, go ahead, subscribe, see her family fun. Lisa, you can drop your link, sweetheart. Also, I want to welcome my moderator, Cool Ranch Dorito a great auctioneer and friend. I hope to someday have just one-tenth of her class, grace, and poise. Also want to welcome Crochet Queen Kathy. Welcome, welcome. Christine Perry, so glad to see you. Joanne McGuire, oh, I am so glad you were so happy with it. Wonderful, that's what I like to hear, satisfied customers. Okay, in case there is anybody who has never watched before or is lurking in the background trying to decide if they want to just watch or jump in, let me tell you how this works. The way that you register is by clicking the link that's pinned to the top of the chat. Once you've registered, it lets me know where to send your invoice and where to send the items you win. This is a real auction. All bids are absolutely binding. The only time you can retract a bid is during the auction. Oh, and y'all go ahead and click the thumbs up for me, pretty please. That helps ever so much with YouTube. Also, go ahead and click the share button. The share button lets you share it out on your YouTube community page, on your Facebook, your Instagram, your um, Snapchat, TikTok, and of course, all 
your discords. And if you are not already a member of my discord, I hereby invite you to join. It's a great way to connect right away and immediately to me, to all the mods, to about 150 other people. It also doesn't have junk mail or spam mail, so you get every message, which I love. And you can video chat. You can voice chat. In fact, I had a nice little long, blessed voice chat with Cool Ranch Dorito today on the Discord because it is so much simpler than the phone. You don't have to hold up a phone to your ear. You just click onto it and you can set it aside. You can lay down, take a nap, do other things, knit, crochet, paint, and just talk. It's wonderful. So much easier than using a phone. Thomas, welcome, welcome. Okay, so once you have filled out the registration form, you can start bidding. The way you bid is with numbers in the chat. I know it is so tempting to sometimes bid with words or phrases like, well, if nobody else wants it, or I'll take one of those too, or put one of those in my box. But I do need you, please, oh, please, to press the number. That way we can make sure sure you're on the right item and the best way to make sure you're not lagging and you're on the right item is if you're on a computer make sure you have adjusted your chat to not top chat but live chat and if you're on the phone adjust it to all chat and make sure that little red line at the bottom of the screen is all the way forward. That way you can stay with us and know the exact item we are bidding on it. Plus, if you're lagging, you might accidentally be in second. You wouldn't want that now, would you? Now, the methods of payment that I accept are Zelle. Zelle's my preferred method of payment because there are absolutely no fees and it's guaranteed by the banking system. But of course, I accept PayPal, just like all the other resellers. PayPal is the methodology which with which I make all of the invoices regardless. It lets you pay with your bank card, your debit card, your credit cards, and PayPal even takes Venmo now. Woohoo! So the method of shipping that I use is called Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is a discounted shipping service that works with both UPS and USPS, also known as the post office. And it calculates discounted shipping based on the distance from your zip code to mine. I'm shipping from a suburb of New Orleans, Louisiana. Also based on the weight of the package and the dimensions of the package. Now, the bidding increments for this auction will be a low $1 increment. Everybody, welcome Thomas to the chat. Oh, y'all already are. See, we've got Southern Hospitality at work here already. Bravo to my chat. Okay. So $1 bidding increments tonight as every night, except with our special first round. So let me tell you about this special first round. We call this round Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And during this special round, we lower the bidding increments to 50 cents and we start all items at just $1. So if you're looking to pick up on some more one dollar goodies here you go so i say laissez bon temps roule which means let the good times roll roll in your life roll in your heart roll in your soul roll in your auction purchases roll in your cold weather roll on and on and on now i know some of y'all may think oh bell you're in new orleans you don't know squad about cold weather and you're right I don't know squat about cold weather, but I've been having mods to tell me about this mysterious thing called, uh, let's see, how do you pronounce it? S-N-O-W, snow, snow, that's what they call it, snow. I have seen it, I may never have felt it, I may never have walked in it, made a snow angel, but I know what it looks like when it's on merchandise. 
So tonight, with this being our salute to cold weather, we are going to have blankets. We're going to have sweats. We're going to have socks. We're going to have slips. Clippers. We're going to have snowmen on Christmas merchandise, like the gift bags you see here, like rugs, like Christmas cards, as well as some gloves and mittens. We're even going to have some snowballs. Wait till you see how I figured out a way for us to have snowballs. So I may be in New Orleans, but I am still able to have this cold weather auction, even when I was sweating and running my air condition with our 80 degree temps, because I want to do what y'all want to do. So to my amazement, this is the theme y'all voted for. So here I am. Oh, welcome, Diane. Everybody, welcome, Diane. Okay, so it looks like Renee's ready to begin. All right, so here's the first item. They are these beautiful gift bags. The one at the top is a snowman, and it says, let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And the bottom also has, sorry, the tag was kind of covering it up, a snowman, and it's a whole snowy scene. And I'll open one of these up for you. This is the good kind that has the little bottom in it. I like when they have the little bottom in it. Of course, you have to open it up. And then you set the bottom in it. I like those kind. Not all of them have the bottom. So, and I also like that these are wide rather than tall. Because that way, when people look in it, they can see the gift. Also, if your gift isn't huge, sometimes those tall ones won't work. So let me fold this back up right because these are all brand new. And they all, all have these little tags on them too. So I'm looking for $1 for choice. And in other auctions, I will have other motifs. I just specifically picked these out because they had the snowman and this was the theme y'all chose. Much to my surprise and amazement. So looking for $1 for choice of, of gift bags. And I realize that everybody is selling gift bags. Uh, at some places, you might have to pay $1.25. But this way, they are mailed to your door. And this way, your money is going to somebody you know rather than a big corporation. Okay, any interest on these? All right, we'll pass them. Okay, next, since we're talking about the land of snow and ice, I've got some ice molds. Although you could really use these molds for other things. If you want to use these for wax melt, for candy, feel free. And I've even got these little baby size ones. Oh, and in this size, I have both pink and blue. Um, these are the only options for gift bags tonight. Um, at a regular auction, I'm going to have some other gift bag options. But for tonight, I pulled out just the ones with the snowman. So the choices will be Let It Snow or Happy Holidays. Just trying to go with the theme. But at a regular variety auction, I will have... a their choices. So happy.
Do you have multiples? Yes, 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 yes. Let me count and see how many I have. Great question. Okay, of the snowman, one, two, three, four, five, and six of happy holidays. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So six of let it snow, eight of happy holidays. Hi, Shelby. And these are all brand new. I'll tell y'all what, I bought a case of these after Christmas last year. And I thought, well, I'll sell a little here. I sell a little there. Might even use a few myself. Okay, she's going to go with four of each. Okay, one, two, three, four. And, oops. One, two, three, four. And of course, they want to catch on these little hangers. Okay, anybody else? Thank you so much, Cool Ranch. Okay. So, our next Bell's Bargain Bonanza are these ice molds. I have to tell you, there is a chain restaurant called Sonic uh, down south, and I think a few other places as well. And uh, Sonic is known for their round ice. That is the whole thing that people love about them is specifically the round ice. So you can see I've got three different sizes, whether you like big, giant cubes, or I've got medium size. I've even got the little baby ones. They say that round size ice apparently melts less quickly um, because it doesn't have the jagged edges. And if it melts less quickly, then it's not going to water down your drink so much. Because have you ever seen somebody drinking maybe like a cola, Dr. Pepper, uh, tea, and like the top half is just water because their ice melted. Oh, that's sad. So if anybody is interested in round ice at home, here we go. These are also great for making bonbons, making chocolate, make your own soap, make your own wax melts. One of the things that I do is when I've melted a candle, which I love candles, I love scents, I always have some kind of scented thing going in my house, but at the bottom of the candle, once the wick is burned out, you have leftover wax. I have one of these that I use just for candle wax. And so I'll put the wax out of it and throw it into my wax warmer. Oh, Sonic, if you're watching, come be a sponsor. I'm saying nice things. And we're talking more about Sonic than anything else in the chat. Okay. If only it was a product placement. And they have really good onion rings, too. And once again, not a product placement. All right. Last call on these. Well, at least you know I'm not just whistling Dixie that... Um, it is great. Okay. I've got two more cold weather things. Now, I've never tried these. I'm guessing that some of y'all have. These are called hot pans. And from what it says on the label, it's up to 10 hours of heat. It's ready to use air activated, safe and natural heat. And you get two in here. So I'm looking for a $1 starting bid for this thing called Hot Hands. And hopefully they are as good as the label says. I'm not going to try one out because it would be wasted on me. 
but the reviews were very good online. Okay, anybody for hot hands? And hot hands, these are hand warmers. Oh, and you know what else I have further down in the bag? I've also got this one that's a super warmer. This one says it goes up to 18 hours. So if you need a longer lasting one, you might want the 18 hour one. So you can get the two pack with 10 hours or the one pack with that lasts 18 hours. Okay, y'all are so funny. Anybody for a hot hand? At this point, I might be making more money if I just sat here and sang and let the mods drop my tip jar. Okay, anybody for the hot hands? Last call. Otherwise, I will show you the one last item in Bell's Bargain Bonanza, and then we'll get to the auction. Oh. Amy, it's like every word in that sentence. I don't understand my husband. What's a husband? Snowblower? What's a snowblower? Winter? What's winter? Colorado? Well, I actually have been to Colorado. Although the one time I went, it was summer vacation. So there was no snow. Oh, but how blessed for you that you can have all of those words. I don't know in one entire paragraph. <laughs> No, I'm just teasing. That's that's wonderful. Okay, last call. Okay, well, at least I now know that y'all have heard of these. My sister seemed to think y'all would like this. All right, here is the last item. And this was also based on something a moderator said. One of my moderators in the meeting said, Belle, you should sell hot chocolate. And I said, um, I sold all the hot chocolate last time. So, in fact, I think I saw um, some of the people in the chat who bought the hot chocolate. So, I kept looking around for some hot chocolate at a price I could resell it. And I couldn't find it. But you can find this flavored lip balm and do you know what the scent of this flavored lip balm is Let's see if i can get it close enough for y'all to see hot chocolate so this last one dollar item is this super cute little bottle um that says that's hot and it says that's hot because it's hot chocolate flavored Okay, yes, I, I'm always scared of doxing y'all. I love when y'all dox yourselves. Yes, it was Lisa who said I should sell hot chocolate. It was because Lisa bought, uh, I think, the second choice of the hot chocolate the last time I saw it. Okay, so last item in the Bell's Bargain Bonanza before we get to the auction for $1 hot chocolate flavored brutiful get it brutiful because i guess you're supposed to brew hot chocolate even though i microwave it um that's hot okay lisa's in for one and i think this is so cute to keep in your purse as a stocking stuffer and i do have multiples of these available and this is also a lip balm that both guys and women would like. Because who doesn't like hot chocolate? I mean, come on, y'all. Oh, thank you for admitting that you were the other person who bought the hot chocolate. 
Well, we'll see who's interested in this hot chocolate flavored lip balm. Okay, Lisa's going for one. Anybody else? Otherwise, we're going to start the auction. Last call on the lip balm. And Cool Ranch would like two. Okay, excellent. I've still got more left. Anybody else? It's just a buck. It's like when you're standing in line and you look around and you see those little impulse purchases by the register. This is like the Bell's Bargain Bonanza, a version of those little impulses by the register. And if you would, I see we have 15 people watching. Everybody click the thumbs up. That helps me ever so much with the YouTube algorithm. It lets YouTube know that you approve of my channel, approve of my content, and that they should share it out. Okay, we're going to wrap up this Bell's Bargain Bonanza and get to the auction. Y'all let me know what you'd like to see first. If you'd like to see snowballs, if you'd like to see snowmen, sweats, clothing, scarves, mittens, gloves, blankets. And I even have some handmade afghans from my late mother. Okay, let me show you the first thing. This is going to be $2 for choice. Hopefully it's dim enough to see. And then I'll turn the light on in a second so you can see all of the beautiful detail. Well, you might still be able to see the detail. Here's the other one. So these are nice and bright. So looking for $2.00. Yes, I will have both fuzzy socks and fuzzy pajama pants. We will do those next. Hi, Erin. Hi, Sandra. Okay, any interest in these light up snowmen? Oh, hi, Sandra. Thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Okay, last call on these snowmen. Snow love for the snowmen? No, I'm sorry. That's an awful pun. <sighs> okay, we will pass on these. They're both one and done. So if anybody has regrets, let me know. Or if anybody wants to make a deal on the two of them. Okay, let me see if I can show you these up close to show you how warm and fuzzy they are. And some other people in the chat have bought them. So if anybody who's gotten these or worn them, let everybody know what you thought about them. Because I get compliments on these all, all the time. These are favorites of lots of people. So the first one is pink and has beautiful llamas. The second one has a coffee and donut motif. Now, Renee, let everybody know that these are going to be $10 for choice. They are brand new. The llama I have in 1X, 2X, and 3X. 
the coffee I have in 1X and 3X. No 2X. I'm sorry. No 2X. So once again, the llamas are in 1X X and 3X. The coffee is in only 1X and 3X. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. The only one I'm sold out of is the 2X in the coffee. I am so sorry. Those were just the first to sell out. I do have the 2X in the llama, though. Okay, Catherine Mary is in for 11. Anybody for 12? Looking for 12 now. Okay, so we've got 11. We're looking for 12. Also, you can get in for second choice here with our rules of Southern hospitality. Okay, well, if Catherine Mary has retracted, then Sandra's choice becomes a first choice. Is that correct, Cool Ranch? Correct me if I'm wrong. You've been at this longer than I have. That's what I believe happens, is that second choice becomes first choice when there's a retraction. Okay. Now, Catherine and Mary, I'm confused. I thought you rejected, but it looks like you bid yet again. Well, I'll be. Much, y'all help me out. So It does get cold. And these are so soft. You're not going to want to take these off. These are some of the softest um, that I have. Now, I will be showing you other sweatpants, um, but these are the only ones that are soft soft and fuzzy. Let you know. If you're waiting for more, these are the only ones. I just um, auctioned them simultaneously to be easier. Okay, so Catherine Mary is bidding 11. Anybody for 12? Or if um, anybody wants to go back to second choice. I am so sorry for this uh, confusion. I guess I should have auctioned these off one at a time so I could be more specific with size. I'm sorry. I'm still not very good at this. I'm trying to learn and get better. So y'all, please um, forgive me if I just ran this train into a ditch. Okay. Okay. 
All right. So we're sold to Catherine for 11. Once again, in the llamas. Oh, I just love feeling these. Um, I've got 1X, 2X, and 3X. In the coffee and donut ones, which are cute as can be, I have 1X and 3X. I'm sorry, but I sold out of the 2X. Okay, so um, Catherine Mary, um, you get to pick. And then if Sandra wants second choice... Oh, no need for apologies, Sandra. After a while, we'll all get the hang of this. That's the great thing about being new. We're all new. You know, in a few months when I finally get to the one year mark, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's like January, February, March, then maybe I'll get better. Oh. Okay, so uh, Catherine Mary, I believe you won at the winning level of $11 for choice on these brand new ladies plus size pants. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't show you the sizing chart because, you know, every brand does their sizing a little differently, just in case you need to see which size would fit you best. Okay, so the 1X basically fits a 16 or an 18. The waist is going to be 37 to 38, and the hips are only 46 to 48. The 2X, which is a 20 or a 22, will be a waist of, of 40 to 42, and hips of 49 to 51. And, and then the 3X is a waist of 43 to 45 and hips. So if you're not sure if you're a 1X, a 2X, or a 3X in this particular brand, because brands do vary, here are the specific waist and hip measurements for you. And Maj, y'all help me out here, pray please. Okay, hopefully the sizing chart will help everybody out. Okay, so Catherine Mary with $11, I believe you were the winning bid. Is that correct, Mods? So let's see what you want, what color, what pattern, how many. And just in case Catherine Mary didn't hear, Mods, uh, y'all write it in the chat pretty please. Okay, she's going to take one of each 3X. Fantastic. Okay, I've still got 3X in each size in case somebody else wants a 3X. Anybody else want to pick for second choice? God bless you, Cool Ranch. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, sometimes my accent gets in the way, so don't feel bad. Everybody's welcome. We're all human. And I tell people in emails and on Discord all the time that I make mistakes. Okay, so I've still got three X left. I've still got one X left and I have a two X in the llama only. So anybody else? These are so soft and comfy. I've been uh, teasing Lisa about these, that these are the kind that make you want to walk out to your mailbox and not care because they're so soft. You don't want to get dressed or to go drive through fast food or go get coffee or whatever. So, oh, Sandra's next. Okay. I'm so sorry. Um, Sandra, which would you like? I know you were talking about the 2X, but I know sometimes when people see a sizing chart, they'll decide to size up or size down. 
depending on just how the chart looks to them. I wish there were like a standard sizing like there is with men's where it tells you, you know, the neck right on it. Oh, she said she's out. Okay. Anybody else? My apologies. I hope I didn't somehow hurt your feelings, Sandra. We are all so glad to have you here and you're absolutely welcome. Okay, last call on these then. We'll go to some soft, cozy, fuzzy socks. And these I have lots of in uh, different colors. So hopefully there will be more that y'all will like. Let me show you the options. First, for those of y'all that like neutrals, I've got this soft and cozy speckled print. These even literally say cozy socks on the front and they will work with shoe sizes of four to ten and a half. So the speckled one is on the top and then I'm not sure if y'all can just see the softness here of the basic black. The next one I have is Aqua. Aqua has the aqua white and gray on the top. And then, oops, a little lip balm on the back. It's got a plaid. Pretty, pretty. The next choice for all you purple ladies and lavender lovers out there, we've got a pretty speckled on the top. And then on the back, it's striped. Pretty, pretty. The next choice is speckled. And then we had hearts. Oh, Catherine Mary has a question. Uh, if she didn't, if she did bid 10, uh, then you outbid her at 11. And then she, she said she was out, meaning she didn't want to go. Out. But her $10 bid was still real. So that's why you went up to 11. Um, but people don't have bidding. So she decided just to be out rather than advance to 12. I'm so sorry if there was any confusion. My apologies. Okay, so we've got these two packs of socks. These are $10 for choice. So this is the speckled side. And I'm going to turn it on the back so you can see the reverse. We've got solid black here. We have the plaid stripes. And look at those cute little hearts. Just cute as can be. So you're getting two pairs of these warm, fuzzy, cozy socks that fit ladies sizes four to ten and a half. No, 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 no. It is one set of two pairs for five dollars. One is five dollars. These two pairs, oops, another piece of lint, five dollars. So it's five dollars for these two big, fluffy, furry pairs of socks. Does that make sense? I'm so sorry if I was confusing. My apologies. So each one has a speckled one, and then each one has a contrast one on the back. And y'all don't forget to click the thumbs up. After all, I'm trying my hardest here. So a set of two socks for the low price of $5. Moderator, shall help me out, pretty please? Can y'all hear me? Am I on? Okay, Sandra's in for five. So once again, it's a two-pack of socks for $5. A two-pack. And I've got four different varieties available, all brand new with the tag. 
So I'll flip them over this way. That way y'all can see that they're new with tag. Okay, Sandra's in for five. Anybody want to go up to six for choice? Jennifer, welcome, welcome, welcome. My apologies for any confusion, but this would be great for yourself. This would be great for gifts. Nobody ever says, I wish I had less socks or I want those hard scratchy ones. No, everybody loves a new pair of socks, especially when they are cozy and soft. Once y'all get these, you'll be um, messaging me back saying, Belle, do you have any more of those cozy, fluffy socks? People just love these. Okay, can't wait to see which ones are picked. If anybody wants to go up to six or get in for second choice. Okay, we are sold to Sandra. Let's see what colors and how many she picks. I do have multiples of every single color. So I bought a whole case of these because I thought they were that great. Okay, she's going with black and purple. Okay, so here's a pair of the black and a pair of the purple going to Sandra. Congratulations, Sandra. Everybody in the chat, congratulate Sandra on her purchase. Anybody else want to get in on this great buy for socks? Hi, Braxton. Welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. And Marley, too. Everybody, welcome. Our brand new first time viewer from my friend, Big B. Okay, last call on these warm and fuzzy socks. Hold on, so your favorite. I am so glad to know that. Oh, I am so glad. Well, everybody click the thumbs up for me. Hopefully we're getting close to 20. Okay, last call on the socks. But I will show show you some different types. show the chat request. Let me show you what else I have. I know some of you have a man in your life. We jokingly call them the mics around here just because both Lisa M. Adventure and Cool Ranch both have husbands named Mike. And I keep talking about looking for my mic, although I'm sure some of y'all are married to men other than Mike's. But I'm going to show these men's two pack of socks. Now, these are boot socks and they are sizes 6 to 12. And here's what they look like. These are going to be $5 as well. So with this one, you get a solid black and you get kind of a gray black print with a special little heel in it. The second choice is a army green olive green and this one has gray with the army green heel third choice is navy and kind of a variegated gray with a navy heel they are all two pack socks looking for five dollars for the two pack also, I want to point out that in the Navy, these have a cute little racing stripe at the top.
And I will let you know that in the Army Green, I have two available. In the Navy, I have two available. And I only have one in the Black. Sure. Let's see. Okay. They are 97% polyester and 3% spandex. That 3% spandex really makes them fit well. Any interest? Okay, Cool Ranch is in for five. Anybody want to go up to six for this two pack of men's boot socks? And once again, the choices are going to be uh, black, gray with olive, and navy blue. Okay, it looks like all of my moderators had suddenly come back. So we have Cool Ranch Dorito in for five. We're looking for six. Otherwise, we can just count this down to her and see what she picks. Once again, I've got two in the Navy. This one is the Army Green and Gray and just one in the Black. And in case anybody's looking for basic white socks, after this, I will show some basic white socks. And still to come tonight, we're going to have some storage as you're putting away all of your summer clothes. We're going to have some slippers, um, sweatpants and shirts blankets, scarves, shawls, clothes, and even some cute snowman soap dispensers. Oh, okay. All right, so now I'm sold out of the black. I've got one more pair left of the olive green and gray. And the navy blue is still available. I've got two packs of those. Anybody else? Always good to get ready for winter before that winter comes in and the need arises. Last call on these men's socks. And we will be having men's pajama pants later. We'll also have men's sweats as well as women's. Okay, I'm going to be, they're not blankets, they're afghans, but I'm going to show those a little better. So I've actually got them across the room, so I need to sell a few of the small things just to be able to walk to get to them. Okay, but I'm totally going to get to those. All right, let me move this, and let me see if I can move a few things to get to it. Bless her heart, Lisa always picks the thing that I have farthest away from me. I know she thinks I'm thwarting her, but I'm really not. Um, okay, next I have this 10-pack of Gildan No-Show socks. These have a comfort toe seam. 
and they fit sizes four to 10. And I wish y'all could feel these. These are super cushy. They are nice and fluffy. Great for inside those sneakers. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, here in New Orleans, it was 80 today, and it's down to about 70 right now. So I've still got a fan blowing on me. Y'all can probably hear it in the background. But I'm glad y'all are getting some cool weather, even if I'm not. Okay, so for this 10-pack of socks, I'm going to start this at $10. That's a dollar a pair. You're wearing these socks right now? These socks. Oh, Joanne, you say that now, but when we have 100-degree temperatures and feels like 112 in in June, July, and August, you wouldn't necessarily be saying that. <sighs> but I still someday so badly want to see and feel and experience snow. I just can't tell you how much I am hoping for that someday. Hi, Miss Phyllis. So nice to see you. Okay, we'll pass on these plain white socks then. Next, part of this whole cold theme is sometimes in art. I want to show you these beautiful Christmas cards. And these are by Hallmark. Also, this scene is specifically crafted by Thomas Kincaid, a great artist. I know you're in, I'm sorry. Okay. So here is the beautiful scene. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's actually kind of sparkly and iridescent and kind of glittery. Okay. These had an original price of... We can focus in $15.49 in the U.S. and in Canada, $20. But here at Bargains by Bell, it's not going to be $15.49. It's not going to be $14. It's not going to be $13 or $12, $11, $10, $9, $8, 7 I'm taking these down to 6 bucks. 6 bucks for a box of 16 cards. Six bucks starting bid. And I only have two boxes. I don't know why I put them like that because it's a snowy theme and you can't see it that way. There we go. Oh, Lisa, their money translates differently. Each box has 16 cards and envelopes, of course, and these are by Hallmark. And you know what Hallmark's theme is? When you care enough to send the very best. Oh, and let me tell you what it says on the inside. I should have read in here. It says Christmas. 
season of time of the year makes that become warm memories. What a beautiful message. Okay, any interest? So remember, this was fifteen forty nine. So you're saving ten bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> well, I'm going to have some more economical cards after this, but I wanted to show you my one that's a name brand because I know some of y'all like name brand stuff. Some of y'all just like something that's a pretty or affordable. So we will have some that are a little bit more affordable after this, but these are the only ones that are Thomas Kincaid. Thank you for the advice, Catherine Mary. Okay. We will pass on these. Now, none of these others. Um, well, I take it back. I do have one other with glitter. I almost started to say none of them. Okay. Also by Hallmark, since our theme is cold weather, I found a snowman. And these cards are $9.99 in the U.S., $12.99 in Canada. So we're going to start these out at 3 bucks for choice. So here's the snowman card. And I do have two available of that one. Then I have this one that says Season Greetings. And it's got some gold on it. See if I can put it that way since it goes that way. And here's the other one that has glitter on it. Not sure if y'all can see the little bits of glitter. You may have to take my word for it. You might be able to see it on the snowflake. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. You see the little bits of glitter on the snowflake. So each of these has 16 in it. Just one box, just one box, two boxes. Lisa, if you're looking to see who's in the chat, click the three dots at the top and click on participants. Or if you can ask another mod to click for you, pray please. Everybody is equally important here. Okay, anybody for $3 for your choice of brand new sealed cards. Um, this one is Hallmark. I'm sorry, I must have misread your comment my apologies okay last call okay let me see if i can get to mother's afghans now that i cleared away a few things let's see if i can make it to the other side of the room y'all give me a second Now, keep in mind, these are handmade. These are all vintage. Um, my mother did not make them recently either. So I don't want you to think that in the two, three years before she passed, she made these. These are for sure decades old. So I want to be super duper clear about that. Okay, I'm going to start these at $40. Here is the first one. 
It's got the chevron pattern. The size of this is 34 by 56. And you'll see even the trim also has the scalloped chevron pattern. It is pink and white. And if you want to look at the uh, stitching up close, she did a great job on it. So this is the first choice. Put my little tag back on it. Okay. Here is the second choice. You'll see each of these, she did different patterns, different colors. This was a combination of the colors my mommy loved. She loved greens. This one is 47 by 64. And you'll see it goes from a light peridot to a kind of light olive to a dark olive to an avocado. A close look, a pattern. So that's going to be the second choice. Let me put it this way so y'all can still see it. Okay, here's the next choice. And you'll see yet again, it's kind of a fan pattern, kind of a seashell pattern. Every time she seemed to do a different pattern. This one is 50 by 50. 50 by 54 and it is aqua and white <laughs> and last but not least Once again, a totally different pattern. This one looks like a C. This one is 47 by 38. Let me open this up so y'all can see the beautiful colors that she used. And the edge is beautifully scalloped. She always liked things to have a nice edge on them. And you'll see you've just got tons of glorious colors. So each one different colors, each one different stitches and patterns. And all of these totally vintage, all of these handmade, and I may say made with love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I will have some brand new uh, throws tonight. I don't want you to think that this is all I have. I'll also have some material from super huge pieces that you can make your own blankets. Because I think that's what Mother was going to do with them. She never got a chance to. So we're going to have those later tonight. And I even have some bolts of material that you can make warm and cozy things from. Okay, so once again, we've got the wave pattern. Oops, I accidentally took two down with that. We've got the aqua and white with the uh, seashell pattern. We have the shades of green. And we have pretty in pink with the chevron. 
Any interest? Last call on these. Or anybody who wants to make an offer on several, believe me, I won't tell that you didn't make these yourself. That can be our secret. Love for mommy up in heaven somewhere looking down here in your comments all right y'all give, give me just a minute to take some room and we will go on there's just no room to set it right by me Okay. One other thing about cold weather is finally you can wear so adorable. These little booties are. I think these are so cute. And even if you wear a lot of neutrals, to have a little pop of color or pattern can be super fun. So I'm going to start these at $10. Let me see. This one is a size. Oops. Turn it this way. Size six. Put them the right way here. Okay. Size six. This one is a size 10. Here's the size nine, put them this way. And then for some reason, I've got one more in the size nine. Okay, so $10 for choice of boots. The choices are six, nine, and 10. Oh, you like making blankets. That's fantastic. You might be interested in some of the fabric or these big blanket squares that my mom got at Joann's. These are all brand new. They still have the little elastic to them. One of the things I like about them is that they have stretch right here to help you get in and out of them because some boots are hard to get in and out of. Oh, you do too, Joanne. That's fantastic. Okay, so anybody for cute little animal print booties? And you'll see it's just got the tiniest little whiff of rays here, so these won't be hard to walk in at all. And they have kind of a, a suede kind of a texture, kind of feels like um, peach skin. Okay, last call. And if anybody has regrets, you can email me or Discord message me. Okay. Oh, I meant to show you, speaking of our socks earlier, how do y'all keep your socks? I've got this great little gadget. I'm going to show it to you in black, although I have it in cream and white. You open it up. And get it open for my underwear. And you can see that you just lie 
run your little socks up like soldiers in here. I'm going to start these for three bucks. And this is a big two pack, but you will see even a two pack of socks will fit. Although it's supposed to be one per quadrant, but you'll see they fit just fine. But imagine when they're singular, even how much better they're going to fit. So $3 for choice. I have these in black and white and cream. the cream look like and, and I find that although you can absolutely put them in your linen closet or wherever you want to put them but I just realized that I got tired of fishing 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 looking for a set of socks and once I matched them up, I had no way to keep them together. So once I found this little accordion um, keeper, I just thought that it was a game changer and it helped me to be so much more organized. People that just likes everything organized and to have a place to keep everything. So it was a game changer for me to have a place to keep socks and to keep underwear. Okay, last call on this organizer. Okay. Hey, next, speaking of snow and snowflakes, look at this snowflake. It's velvet, and you're saying, hmm, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Da 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 da. It's a tree skirt. Very rarely, but look how great this one looks with the beautiful. white snowflake here let me show you it measures 40 inches 40 inches so and look how pretty it is it's a big 40 inch tree skirt And y'all let me know what you'd like to see next. If you'd like to see um, more storage, if you'd like to see slippers, sweats. Scarves. Okay, Lisa. The starting bin is just five dollars. Five dollars for a big forty inch tree skirt. So five dollar five dollar five dollar tree skirt five dollar 
Okay. I don't know why I'm singing. Um, like I'm any better heard when I'm singing than just when I'm talking. Um, sorry. I am amusing myself. Okay. I know sometimes I amuse myself even if I don't know. skirt. Okay, now I have both ladies and men's sweats. I'm going to do ladies first because of the rules of Southern hospitality. So these are going to be Hanes. And how can you tell they're ladies? I, I ask this question all the time. And I'm sure there are probably other ways and fans of your channels can probably tell you, but I just look at the sticker and medium is sizes eight to 10. So here's the first one. And I'm just going to lay them out and show you what I have. I've also got medium in gray. That's a medium too. I also have small. Okay, here's another medium. So help me. Okay, medium and gray. Medium and gray. Small in gray. I've got black in a medium. Now let's get to the pretty colors. Black was up here. Okay, in pretty colors, I've got pink, and the pink is in a large. I've got pink in a small. Here's another pink in another large. For those of you who like purple, and this is kind of a violet shade of purple, I've got a small. For those of you who like teal, I've got teal in a small, oh, $7 starting bid, and teal in a large. So those are the choices. I think they were all small, medium, or large. Oh, wait, I forget the blue ones. The blue ones I had in a separate sack. I'm sorry. In blue, I've got medium. And I've got extra large. And remember, sweats are nice and um, stretchy. And I will still have the men's to come. And now I have just one in an extra large. So anybody for some warm, cozy sweatshirts? No worry, Diane, if you need to watch it back and let us know what you missed or what you wanted to order. You are welcome. Uh, these are all sweat shirts. I haven't done sweat pants yet, Lisa. I figured I'd do sweat shirts first for women and then men and then come back to sweat pants. 
because I know a lot, a lot of people wear different sizes in shirts and pants. So rather than make somebody get a set, I thought that I would sell them individually. Because I know if it was me, I would want a different size pant than shirt. I just doxed myself, but now y'all know I am bigger on the bottom than on top. Oh, okay. All right. Last call on these. Well, I tell you what, since I have so many of these, okay, I was going to pass, but Cool Ranch is in for seven. I realize big girls need love, which is why we had the plus size soft and cozy jammy pants. And we did those first. So I did do plus sizes first. But I don't necessarily know what size anybody is. I'm just providing merchandise and guessing. So bear with me if I didn't necessarily have the exact size you might have wanted in this particular item. Uh, many times women will wear men's sizes just because they are sized more generously because I personally think sweats look the same. You know, if I held up a gray sweatshirt in men's and a gray sh sweatshirt in women's, I'm not sure I could tell the difference if it didn't have the label sticker. Okay, so we are sold to cool. Let's see what color and what size she wants. I always see her so dressed up for her auctions, but there have got to be times she's just wearing sweats, doing her packing or her shipping. But I am sure she is still elegant and gorgeous. Okay, she wants the extra large in blue. This is my only extra large. And a large, if you have it, in the pink, gray, or black. Here is a large in pink and I still have one more large in pink as well so here's the large and the extra large oh and something I just noticed is this one is Fruit of the Loom and this one is Gildan so they are technically a different brand So hopefully these two are to your liking. Let me know if this is going to work. Okay, Crochet Queen Kathy is also in for seven. All right, Kathy, what can I get for you? And if you're looking at this in the background, this is a cute cat fabric that is yet to come in the auction. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool Ranch says my mother does embroidery and I'm going to have her do some Fantastic. You could even put your channel logo on there or perhaps your monogram. I'm sorry. I don't have any more extra larges. I have large. Here is a large in the pink.
Okay, she's going for the large in pink. So the only pink remaining is in small. And I've got small in the purple, small in the teal. I've also got a large in teal since large seems to be popular. Let's see if I can get the large in here. Large and it's a gorgeous teal color. If anybody likes teal. The only black one was a medium. Other than that, I had small, medium, medium. Let's see, what was this one? This one was medium, small, medium, medium, medium. Okay, let me clear these away. Meanwhile, still got the pretty colors left. And we've still got one more large in this gorgeous teal color. And then I'll show you the men's. I'll leave this one out since we're still talking about it. And I'll open this up to show you how nice and big it is. Okay. The teal in large is going home to Cool Ranch. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Now I know next time, leave behind the medium and smalls. All right, let me show you the guy ones. Okay, here's a and crew sweatshirt in large. I've also got an adult fleece crew neck for men in a medium so the first one was navy or navy kind of a charcoal and the second one is black also in the medium i've got the gray okay here's a men's large Put that in the large pile. So on the right is going to be large. On the left is going to be medium. And here is another large. Okay, so that's what I've got in men's. Shades of gray or black. And I really think these look basically like the women. So if you just need a little bit more coverage. In fact, let me show you this. Here's the men's in black. Here's the women's in black. Now, if it didn't have the sticker, you tell me, would you know which one was which? Because I really think these just look the same except for the stickers. I really just think that. Maybe I'm crazy. Yes, starting bid, still $7. I'm going to do all the sweats tonight for 7 bucks. Okay, let me put this lady use one back. Okay, well, I'm just reading what they say on the label, y'all. Oops, I somehow put this one in the pile. So I've got larges and I've got mediums in the men's size. 
So you can always just figure that men's sizes are a little bit larger than ladies. And if you need a little bit extra room, or maybe you've got a guy in your life and who didn't want to cozy up and snuggle with somebody wearing a soft fleece sweatshirt. Okay, Lisa, uh, we will go to some of those next. Last call on the men's sweatshirts. I'll go to the sweatpants and then to jammies. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for seven. So these, I've got three in the large and I've got two in the medium. Let's count these down and I'll show you what the pants I have are. And still to come, I even have something called a hoodie. Now, we can't wear anything that warm down south, but I did manage to find one. And some of you Y'all who live in the northern climates can probably explain it to the other people better. Okay, she's going to take one men's large and one men's medium in gray. Okay. Here we go. That's the best way to decide if you like the medium or the large better. Get one of each and compare yourself. Okay, anybody else? Last call on these. Anybody else? Oh, the large in black as well? No. Nope, nope. Okay. This one. Here we go. All right. Here you go. Thank you so much, Cool Ranch. Anybody else? I've got one large left and one medium left immense last call and then we're going to women's pants okay thank y'all so much all right first i have a size small in black From Haynes Wear. Next, I've got a size medium in this off, um, off white. Next, I've got in the mustard an extra large, and these were originally $12.50. And they do have a chart here. I know some of y'all request the chart. So what size does extra large fit? It fits a 16. And so the waist is 33 and a half to 35 and a half. And the hips are 43 and a half to 45. And a beautiful mustard color. Okay, next... Uh, in black ladies open bottom sweatpants. So if you don't like that binding cuff, this one doesn't have the annoying binding cuff in a size medium. And last but not least, ladies sweatpants in a size large. So $7 for choice, five different choices here.
Okay, any interest in the sweatpants? Hi, Jennifer. Okay, we've got some different colors, different sizes, which are super soft and comfortable. We've got smalls, mediums, larges, extra larges. What size were the open bottom? I do want to show you too that there are other ones with open bottoms. This is another example of open bottoms. Uh, this one's a large, by the way, but the ones that specifically said the open bottom are a medium. But I'll show you they're both open bottom. So here's this open bottom and here's this open bottom. So they're the same even if they don't list it. So the black is in a medium and the gray is in a large. Both open bottom. Now these are not open bottom. These are not open bottom. And I'm not sure anybody's interested in the small. <laughs> So these on this side are open bottom. These on this side are the um, elasticized bottoms. In case you're worried about keeping all that body heat cinched in. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for seven. Thank you so much. And still to come tonight, I'm going to have some slippers, slipper stocks, some indoor snowballs, believe it or not, gloves, mittens, blankets, the cutest ever, um, snowman soap dispenser. Okay, I believe this is the one she wants. Size large, open bottom gray. I think that's going to match so nicely with those gray sweatshirts. Okay, anybody else? Okay, last call. Okay, we will clear these away. And I believe we had a request for pajama pants. I've already done the women's ones. Let me show you what I have in men's. These are 2XL, although I won't tell anybody if you're a lady and you secretly want to wear them. Let me show you the size chart. I can get it to focus. Come on, come on. So the size chart is 44 to 46, 44 to 46. So the first one is black and white with a little stripe of maroon. Then I've got some shades of gray. These are all 2X, by the way. We've got some blue, black, and gray. We've got a bright blue and black. And this is the one that's actually in the picture. 
and then not the same brand and these are the soft fuzzy ones that are like the women's but they're made for men uh it's by open trails men's 2x so if you've had the llama pants or the coffee pants and your guy was like why don't they make anything that soft for me this pair in the green and navy tartan plaid is made of that material. Let me tell you what they are made of. They are 100% polyester. They have side seam pockets. They also have a drawstring. They have a button fly front, comfortable waistband, and they are polar fleece. Polar. So if y'all need something that is warm enough for polar, here you go. My dad had got these and didn't realize they were polar fleece. He opened one and he's like, I'm just going to be too hot in these. Oh, and Joanne says that she wears men's PJ bottoms. Okay. And see, I wear gray all the time. So I think of gray as a color ladies can wear. And I really like this blue pair as well. Although they'd be a little big on me. But if you're looking for that soft, fleecy um, kind of for men like the llama pants for women, this is the one. We're still at seven, still at seven. Although I am gonna have to go in, up in price when I get to this thing called a hoodie. But until then, still seven. Okay, Sandra's in for seven for choice. There are no duplicates. This is the last of what I have. Anybody up to eight? These are all beautifully wrapped, new with tag, ready for your gift giving for Christmas. I know a lot of people like to give jammies for Christmas. Y'all, with all your handsome mics, okay, okay. Y'all need to get working on finding a mic for me. What great content would it be if there was a Southern Bell wedding? Okay, we are sold, sold, sold to Sandra Smith. Sandra Smith, which one or ones would you like? Or maybe you want to make a deal on all of them. Okay, she's taking this super soft one. I love it. So help me if they had been a little bit smaller, I would have kept them. Anybody else? Last call on these 2X. 
men's polar fleece sweet pa sleep pants. Talk about something that's going to keep you warm. And still to come, we'll have slippers, some slipper socks with little grippers on the bottom, some indoor snowballs. We'll have, uh, I've still got more clothes if y'all aren't tired of clothes. Um, some scarves, shawls, blankets, gloves, mittens, hats, and some cute little soap dispensers. So y'all let me know what you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'll just pick something. Okay, let me put these others away. If anybody has regrets, you can let a mod know or email me or Discord message me. While we're waiting to see what other requests we have, this is a one and done. It's a snowman garden flag. Let me show you how gorgeous this is. It's got a red and black background. It's new and sealed. And it says, welcome. So beautiful garden flag, scarves and gloves. Okay, I will do that next. So I'm looking for $5 on this one and only snowman garden flag. Danielle, welcome, welcome. If you love the fabulous black and white artistic thumbnail for tonight with those glistening white snowflakes, that was Danielle Barnes's artistry. Okay, let's see if it says here. It's the standard uh, garden size. It's not the big house flag. Does it say? It doesn't. Let me open it up. I think garden flags are all about the same. Let's see. Yep, it's about 12 inches across and then going up. Uh, my ruler's not that big. I'm going to say about 12 by 18. About 12 by 18, but look how gorgeous it is. I love that the background is red so that the snowman really pops. Oh, and I also have some snowman rugs as well. <laughs> so let me know if anybody's interested in seeing the snowman rugs but i'll show you the scarves and gloves okay here's the first scarf it's got a beautiful fringed edge to it it's a hunter green uh let me see if there's some tags somewhere okay this is the washing tag. Is there a name brand tag? Okay, well, maybe not. It's nice and long and big. I'm going to start this beautiful one out at six.
Okay, here's the next one. It's a red pashmina uh, made of 70% pashmina and 30% silk. Brand new with tag. It was $13.99. Oh, and I've got this inside out because this has a beautiful... Um, A beautiful bling to it. Looks kind of like a football. So I folded it inside out. Silly me. You can probably tell I don't wear these really thick, warm scarves. Okay. I can fold it this way where y'all can see the fringe and the bling. Okay, Sandra's in for six. Anyone for seven? Let me add one more. I've also got in blush pink. You'll see this one also has fringe. And it is 100% rayon. It's made in India. So here's yet another choice of these beautiful fringed scarves. So now we have three choices. Okay, we are sold to Sandra Smith. Let's see what our next is our Hunter Green, which is really a little bit more maroon, or blush pink, or, or maybe she wants them all. The Green. Okay, here it is. It is gorgeous. Okay, anybody for the maroon with the bling or the beautiful in pink? Any other interest? Okay, next I want to show y'all some shawls. Are y'all familiar with shawls and how they work? Let me grab my little mannequin and see if I can kind of sort of explain. Because we use shawls a lot down south because we don't really need coats or um, jackets. So what they are is these... Uh, pointed scarves and they're made of a warm fabric and what you do is you put it behind you you bring it around and then you tie it 
kind of like this. And it goes around your shoulders and it keeps you warm. I especially love these in movie theaters because I get cold. So that's the way a shawl works. And I've got this one in black and white. Also, I've got this one in shades of blue. And these are also going to be $7 for choice. And these are great because even if you don't need the shawl when you leave, it's one of those things you just grab it just in case. You know, like your mom used to say when you were a teenager, hey, take it a sweater just in case. Well, this is like the chic idea of a lady's sweater. So here's two different colors. And of course you wouldn't wear two together. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what they look like. So there's black and white and there are these blues. Those are the two choices. Oh, called them a wrap. Okay. That's good too. And once again, lovely fringe, lovely fringe. Let me see, does this one have a fringe? Yes, of course. Lovely fringe on these. And I think if you wanna gild the lily, if you've seen some of the beautiful brooches that Cool Ranch has, one of her beautiful brooches, I thought about it because the other night I saw she was selling these beautiful light blue, um, butterflies. She's probably sold out of them by now, but that would be so gorgeous right here. And some of those sparkly pearl ones would look great here, but I just love to see a brooch on top of a wrap, on top of a scarf, because, you know, sometimes we are so scared to put holes in our clothing, but when you have a woven fabric like this, it is just perfect for brooches because it's not going to mar it at all because it's already woven. Okay, last call. Any interest? Okay, we'll pass on these and I want to show you something even bigger even bigger and you're like there's something even bigger yes because like i said i don't live in the land of coats and jackets because i live in the south let me first show you the picture this is new with tags and i love that it comes with a picture of all the ways you can wear it so you can wear it just draped over your shoulder you can wear it where it is draped over one shoulder but fall Falling in the front. You can wear it with both sides of the front and add a belt so that you're all cinched in. Um, here's another way you can wear it over the shoulder, a different shoulder. So this one is so big that it's going to come all the way um, to cover your torso and you can drape it in different ways. Now, it's going to be super hard for me to show, but I am absolutely going to try. Okay, so here we go. Because you'll see it's connected right here. Oh, wait, it's got a rip. No, 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 no. Sorry. It's got a tiny little rip, and I'm not going to sell anything that has a tiny little rip. Rat. Would have been gorgeous. Okay. Well, we'll go back to scarves then. Next, still $7 for choice. Look at this fabulous one. 
So the back of it has this print, but look at the front where it's got these lines to it. Really nice. This one, I saw a tag somewhere. Here is the tag. It's by Etc. And it also has fringe. And it's a nice long fringe too. And this one is kind of a grayish purple. So super warm. It has that kind of crocheted knitted look to it. So looking for $7. Okay, here is a totally different look. On the top, this one is velvet. And not only is it velvet, but it is this gorgeous floral pattern. But on the other side, it is this smooth black satin. So it is double-sided. Although I like the satin side better. It has just this part of the tag. It is 100% rayon, made in China. So two great looks to it. And last but not least, because men can wear scarves too, I have just one men's scarf. It's this masculine plaid, which has some brown, some purple, some green, and some tan. It has just the tiniest little bit of man fringe. Let's see if it has any kind of tag. Don't see any kind of tag. So a man scarf, a velvet reversible scarf and this grayish purple three different scarves for the starting bid of seven dollars hi casey welcome welcome so nice to see you back Okay, any interest in the scarves? A men's and two women's as options. Still to come, gloves, blankets, slippers, slipper socks. I've got a few more clothing, some indoor snowballs, and some cute little um, snowmen soap dispensers. Okay, Sandra's in for seven. Anybody want to go up to eight? Let's go ahead and count this down pretty, please. And we'll see if she's interested in the men's scarf, the velvet scarf, or this one that looks uh, knitted or crocheted. Okay, the velvet reversible. You're going to love this. This is so gorgeous. Very high end. Okay, any other interest in the men's scarf or the grayish purple one with the crocheted netted look? Knitted look. Let's 
last call. Everybody congratulate Sandra on, on her purchase. Sandra, so glad you have found my auction, honey. It is so great to have you here. Oh, what happened to the hoodie? I forgot it. I forgot it. I forgot it. Let me grab that. I love how Lisa just gets to it. What happened to the hoodie? Sorry, not that she sounds like that. Well, she kind of does sound like that. But you should hear her impression of me. But friends can do that and say that. Okay. What happened to the hoodie? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start this hoodie at 10 bucks. Okay. So it is a men's full zip hood by Fruit of the Loom. It is navy blue, size large. It has these cute little diagonal pockets, um, which I'm not sure if they're meant to be hand warmers or actual pockets. And then here's the hood to it. I always feel like this is for somebody about to commit crimes, but I was talking to somebody this week who says, no, Upper, this is like our uniform. We wear this all the time. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I've seen too much law and order where they, the assailant was wearing a hoodie. Okay. It's also got a drawstring here. I don't ask me why. And then here's the zipper right here. Oh, it's so big. Okay, let me unfurl it so y'all can see the whole thing. I've only got one of these. I have no idea why I even have one of these. So size large, diagonal pockets, a hood, a zipper. I don't know if I'm even showing y'all this right. Here's the label in here. Okay, any interest? Hopefully y'all know what this is. Oh no, I didn't see that. Okay, here is the very dapper men's scarf. I'm guessing it's going to a mic. Well, it could be going to her dad, perhaps, or brother, brother-in-law. I shouldn't assume it's necessarily going to her mic. Okay, anybody interested in the hoodie? I thought it was cold up there. Why are you eating an ice pop? Okay, well, it's none of my business. Okay, well, we will pass on this then. Oh, your son-in-law. Okay, well, that's a nice gift. All right. Well, we will pass. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm just going too fast. Okay. I brought it back. Okay. Anybody want to go up, up to eight? Uh, there was. We're going to start counting this down. This is my one and only one. So there are no more and there probably won't be any more. Okay. Last call. Okay, we're sold to Cool Ranch. Now, I do have something that's kind of similar, but not with a hood. Let me show this to y'all. 
So this one does not have a hood. So I would not call it a hoodie. Um, it's new with tags. It's from a company called, let's see if I can get it in here, Unique Casual. This is size large. It's black. Tuck this in here so you can see. And it's got a zip down. Oops, a little piece of hair there. And it's got a cute little uh, leather uh, zipper pull on it. It's also got a little side pocket. I like that the side pocket is over to the side because if it was in the middle, it would just look like you were carrying around a pouch. So I love that it does still have a pocket, but that the pocket is over to the side. Starting bid, still six bucks. Size large. And there's just something about these leather pulls on it that I think are so warm and cozy. And I really like the way this is kind of folded into a collar and zips down. You know why? Because this just screams, put a necklace right here. Put a little necklace right here, like a pretty little pendant on a chain. I love when there's that room. Uh, it's $7, $7, and it is, once again, brand new with tags, brand new with tags, quarter zip sweatshirt. I love that Cool Ranch is such a fashionista that she knows all the right terms, even when I don't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I just love the styling on this one and these little leather pieces. So nice. Not the same old, same old. Because some people may say, oh, it's a sweater with a, a sweater, a sweatshirt with a zip down. So it's a little better because it has the zipper. But yet yeah, with this, there's just something so um, charming about it. Aw, thank you so much, Amy. I appreciate you, honey. Okay, last call. Any interest in this zip down? Remember, this is a size large. And I was really surprised it said large because it looks more like an extra large. And in case anybody is interested in material... Made in Bulgaria. Look, it is 100% cotton. I wish the cotton were sourced from my farm, but it's not. It's sourced from somebody else's farm. But 100% cotton. So if you like cotton, here you go. Last call. And y'all let me know what you'd like to see. Still to come, I've got... Uh, slippers, slipper socks with grippers, indoor snowballs, uh, snowman soap dispensers, uh, a few more clothes, gloves, mittens, hats, and rugs. Oh, and blanket material. Forgot about that too. Okay, we're passing on this one. Jammies. Oh, okay. Let me show you what I have in jammies. Okay. First, I have these cute little pants. Isn't this the cutest print ever? A little drawstring here. These are a size medium. And I think this is the cutest print ever. Just love it. Also, so, a cute print in um, extra large. Just look at this awesome print. And so, if you're looking for some that are thin and not so hot and sweaty, these are both lighter materials. 
But if you're looking for something much thicker, I've got this Feel Me Super Soft Jogger, and this one is super soft. These are $7 for choice still. This one is a size medium. And I really wish y'all could feel this material. Super soft is just the beginning. Next, for those of you who like leggings, I've got an extra, extra large, also known as 2X in these leggings. And they're the super warm kind of um, down south. We call these long johns, um, but y'all probably call them uh, warm leggings or uh, thermal leggings, or um, I'm not sure what y'all call these. Um, maybe Cool Ranch can help. But like I said, down south, we call these long johns. These are 2X. Oh, good night, Joanne. Thanks, we appreciate you. Okay, so this is the rest of the clothing that I have for tonight. And after this, we'll have to do some slippers, slipper socks, indoor snowballs, snowman, soap dispensers, gloves, mittens, or rugs. Okay, let's see if there's any interest. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, last call. So we had medium, we had extra large, we had another medium, and we had extra, extra large. They were extra, extra large. But because these are leggings, I want to let you know these are going to be very form-fitting. So you might want to size down on these. Because I'll put them this way. So I find that these run small. But it's because they're supposed to be form-fitting to hold the heat in. Any interest? So, medium in the roses. Hi, Connie. Um, extra large in this black, pink, and blue print. Medium in the super soft jogger. And extra, extra large in these black legging long johns. Any interest? Okay, last call on these. And how about I show you some rugs next? Okay, I found a few rugs that go with my theme. This first one says Believe, and it's got a beautiful snowman on it. I do want to let you know that this is one of the sellers for choice on the rugs. Oh, 
Okay, here is the second one. This one is also machine washable, goes with our cold weather snowy theme. And you'll see there's a blanket of snow everywhere. So those are my two that are machine washable. Now, I know some of you don't actually wash your rugs. You just use them till they fall apart and throw them out. Or some of you will just vacuum or shake them out. So if you don't need to machine wash them, then $6, $6 for choice. I'm so sorry. $6 for choice for rugs, which was the same price we had for the harvest rugs. Okay, so the first one was Believe. The second one was the red truck on the blanket of snow. Now, for those who don't need machine washable, these are not a rug. They are a doormat. They are water absorbent. They are a vibrant print. They are fade resistant. And these can be used indoor or outdoor. These have a black rubber backing to them. So here's the first choice of this kind. Instead of three wise men, it's three smiling snan. We three snowmen of fill in your blank state are like if it was Lisa, it would be we three snowmen of Michigan are bearing gifts. We traverse afar. Okay, don't start me. All right, here's the second doormat for indoor or outdoor use. Look, it's a snowman and he's pulling Santa's travel trailer on a bed of snow. And the last choice is this beautiful old time red truck that says welcome on a bed of snow. Here's your obligatory greeter, which is the snowman. So any interest, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow. Okay, any interest in the rug doormats? All six dollars. So if you want to wash it, get a rug. If you want to just vacuum it or a doormat. Yes, Connie, thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely need some more thumbs. Thank you so much for being my thumb cheerleader. I appreciate that ever so much. <laughs> oh, don't all guys think that they are wise guys but a wise guy isn't necessarily a wise man Okay, any interest on the rugs? Now, if you're watching these and thinking, that's nice, but I don't really want a snowman. Um, at my regular variety auctions, I do have some other styles. I will show some other styles. I picked these just because of the snow, just because of the snowman, and because this is the theme that y'all voted on was this whole cold weather thing. And... You know, I try real hard to go with whatever theme y'all pick. So if you're looking for some other style, you can let me know. I'll have some other ones coming up on future auctions. If you just say want something with poinsettias, I've got that. Maybe a wise man melts when he sees the heart of an angel. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Okay, last call on the rugs. I'll show them to you once again as I'm taking them away. So we had the red truck. We have the travel trailer. And isn't that better than a sleigh? 
we had the three snowmen. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking these would be cuter as gnomes at a future auction, I'm going to show you the one with the three wise gnomes. If we have any gnome collectors out there, here's another red truck. You know how fancy the red trucks are these days. And last but not least, the real meaning of Christmas, Jesus's birthday, where we want to believe. Okay. Next, I want to show you this super cute soap dispenser. I'm going to start this at five bucks. And you'll be able to refill this again and again and again. And I'll tell you something I like about this is if you put one that is, say, Santa or, say, a Christmas tree, you can use it up until December 25th, maybe December 26th, but then it's over. Whereas when you use a snowman rug a snowman soap dispenser you can use that the whole winter season so i just feel like you get more use out of snowman stuff especially if you live in the midwest in the north in any place where you have snow clearly not down here i'm just a wanna be snow person um but you can use it the whole winter so you're going to get way more use out of it than you would with like an elf or a grinch or something oh and let me tell you the other thing about it it's not just a soap dispenser no 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 it is filled with hand soap so the hand soap it is filled with is peppermint cream and how much soap does it have in it? It has 10.5 ounces. So it's a big bottle of soap and a reusable designer soap dispenser. Oh, I, I did not know that. Okay, well, thank you for explaining that to me. So if anybody likes pumpkin cream, that is the um, fragrant soap that's going to come out of this. So you get five ounces of soap. And spoiler alert, in the Friday auction, I am going to have this in a couple of other scents and in a couple of other designs of dispensers. But I brought just this one as a spoiler to whet your appetite. So if you're wishing it was a different character, you're wishing it was a different scent, I am going to have some more. But I really try to embrace these themes that y'all pick. Okay, last call on this one. Okay, next I have this super cute spoon rest. Now, it actually goes this way and you put your spoon in it, but just for display purposes, I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to start the spoon rest at five bucks. Oh, okay. So $5 for this super cute little snowman spoon rest. And after it, I'm going to have the matching platter. So if you're thinking that's nice, but it wouldn't match anything, going to have the matching platter after. Well, of course, Burr, after you were eating an ice pop popsicle, so help me. 
You eat something delicious, complain about it, and then tell us you're cold. So help me, if you had had ice cream, you would have been in the same situation. Okay, we're going to pass on this. Let me show you this beautiful platter. I'm going to start it at 8. Or if anybody wants to make me some offer on the set, you can absolutely do that as well. And still to come, we're going to have throws. We are going to have slippers. We're going to have slipper socks. We're going to have indoor snowballs. Okay, any interest in the platter or anybody want to make me an offer on the set? And y'all don't forget to... Click the thumbs up for me, pretty please. Okay, I'm going to clear this away then. Let's do some slippers. Okay, here is the first pair. It is black, it is gift wrap, and it also has these little plaid bows on them. Uh, here's a nice little two from tag. Let me see what the size is. Okay, upside down. The size is 11 12. 11 12. Oops. Okay, let me see what I'm pausing for. Yes, sold, sold, sold. Okay, sold to Cool Ranch. Thank you for the offer. Oh, and Connie's idea of good Santa cookie plate. I like that, like that a lot. Okay, so I've got this size 11, 12, brand new with tags, set of slippers. I'm going to have other sets of slippers too. Um, I grabbed this one at random. So we're going to start this at eight bucks. Let me add this one. This one is a, a size large. These are ballerina slippers. They stretch fit for easy comfort. And size large is going to fit an eight to nine. So that's going to be a chart, uh, an option as well. And then the third option are going to be these deer foams. And these are a size. Eight, nine size, eight, nine. So these are going to be the three options. The malt nurture is at eight. Looking for nine for choice, or if anybody is in for second choice. Also, I don't know if I showed you these had little, little bows too, just like the little bows here and here.
Oh, bless your heart. Amy, did you have that sensation during your chemo too? Maybe I shouldn't ask such a personal question, but since Connie shared and y'all are kind of chemo sisters. I want to thank everybody again for being here. Help me click that thumbs up, pretty please. We are sold to my moderator, Amy, who's your diver. And Amy, which one or ones would you like? Okay. These are so sweet and soft. You're going to love these. Okay, anybody else for the deer foams or the Chatties Lady Ballerina slippers in size large? And once again, a size large fits an eight to nine. Absolutely. And then after this, I'm going to have some men's, although with men's, you can always do the math and add a um, size and a half to see what woman's size it would be the equivalent of. I don't have any dishes, Lisa. I'm so sorry. The only ones I had, I just showed. I am so sorry. Okay. So in the men's slippers, I've got these in a size eight, nine. So with adding a size and a half, in case a woman wanted to wear these, um, a men's eight would be a women's nine and a half. A size nine would be a woman's 10 and a half. I've also got them in a solid blue, eight, nine. So anybody for the super soft, they're kind of a fleece type material available in the camo and two available in the royal blue. Once again, I am looking for a looking. <laughs> Once again, these are my, men's size eight, nine, which if a woman wanted Wanted to wear them, it would be a nine and a half to ten and a half. Did we get the info about these slippers in? eight dollars still eight dollars and the sizes are a men's eight to nine and if a woman wanted to wear them it would be the equivalent of a woman's nine and a half to ten and a half and they're a soft kind of fleecy material looking for an eight dollar starting bid
And after this, I'll show some throws and stick around, Amy. Some are red. For those of you who don't know, and I'm accidentally going to dox my moderator, Amy, who's your diver, red is her favorite color. <gasps> but don't tell anybody. <laughs> no, it's not a secret. I tease her. Just like I tease Lisa that magenta and black is her favorite color combination. Okay, we will pass on these then. Okay, let's look at some throws. I've got a couple that are double-sided, so let me show you the best ones first. This one is double-sided. It is 50 by 60. So on the front side, you've got this fabulous red tar plaid. On the inside, it is this soft Sherpa material. So I'm going to start this one at 15. Now, I have one other that is reversed reversible and it is black and red so the front is this black and red material print and the reverse side is solid black so here's the front the red and black plaid and the reverse is solid black So there are your two options. Plaid with white or plaid with black. Kind of a nicer naughty option. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. All colors are equally glorious in God's eyes. And if anybody wants to make an offer on multiples of these or multiples of any throw, then feel free. Y'all let me know. I'm always open to offers. I tell you what, we haven't done very many prices tonight. Um, let's do a price drop on these. What do you say, Cool Ranch? Um, let's price drop these down to 13. Down to 13. Um, all things are glorious in God's eyes that there's no such thing is an unlucky number that 13 is just a good uh, number as 15 or 14. So let's price drop this down to 13. Price drop, price drop, price drop. What fabric, what's the fabric behind the throws? Uh, okay, let's see if it says somewhere here. This one says 100% polyester. Let's see what this one says. You can tell this is kind of a Sherpa uh, fiber content. Let's see if we can hone in on it. The face is, meaning the plaid part, is 79% polyester, 18% cotton, and 3% other fibers. And the back is 100% polyester. Now, I have to tell you, this one is super duper 
soft. Both sides are this fuzzy, furry type of material. This side, the Sherpa's on the inside, and the outside is um, like a soft cotton type fabric. So if you want soft on both sides, go with the red and black. If you want cotton on one side and furry on one side, then go with this one. This basically has a regular side and a warm side. This one, they are both warm, both cozy and furry. Okay, so now we have lowered the price to $13. Any interest? Okay, well now we've officially lowered them. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we already had my mistake. Okay, well let me show you some other ones if there's no interest in these. And let me ask you a question. Where do you keep your blankets and quilts and clothes in during the off season. Oh, thank you, Cool Ranch. I appreciate it. I've got these big, huge storage. Let me show you what these look like. These are going to be $5. And they are huge. Here is the front of it. And then you open, open, open it up. It's got handles on the side, by the way. Here's the big handles. And let me show you if I can see how big it is. Comforters, or it could be summer clothes. It is enormous. way bigger than my little ruler could imagine. I mean, I'll try to put my little ruler in here. I'll try to put my little ruler in here. So $5 starting bid. You could get a ton of bedding, a ton of clothing in here. The hard part's going to be folding it correctly. It may not happen. I may end up having to keep this one just because I can't remember how to fold it up. That's the problem about opening things. But they do fold flat for shipping. I have two of these left. And I think that little bear is so cute. Okay. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this a choice because I have one other storage type. Let me see if I can reach it. Okay, I've also got this under bed storage bag. And here's what it looks like. It fits easily under most st standard beds. It has a clear vinyl so you can see everything you've had into it. And it's perfect for storing clothes, blankets, or accessories. The size is 42 by 18. 
So it is super duper long. So you've got two for choice. You've got the big storage cube, which has handles on the sides, or you've got this super long under bed storage. And I've got way more of these. I've only got two of the quilt storage. Um, and it is 42 by 18. Any interest? Oh, ideal to put Christmas gifts in. Absolutely. You get your blankets out and put them on the bed and that's your cue to secretly fill it up with Christmas gifts. And then after Christmas, you can and pack your blankets back in it. I love it. That is genius, Connie. Genius. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for five. Well, thank you, Connie. You're inspiring Cool Ranch. I love it. Okay, she's going to take one of each. Fantastic. Okay, here's one of the quilt ones. And... Here's an underbed storage. Anybody else? Thank you, Connie. Anybody else? Oh, let's do another throw. Uh, this one is a luxury. I'm going to start this one at 14, and it is a vibrant red, but, but look, it's got these big gorgons on it. And it is super duper soft. It is 50 by 60. So if you're looking for a throw that's going to look ornamental on the edge of your bed, ornamental on the back of your sofa or on diagonally, a love seat, a recliner, it's going this one. It is majestic in red. Okay. Gift alert, gift alert, gift alert. Okay, Connie, which one of the two options would you prefer? The under bed or the quilt that's rectangular? Let me know. And also, Connie, I've seen you in the chat for so long, but I'm going to need you to fill out the registration just so I have the address to mail Cool Ranch's gift to you. Such a sweet and useful gift.
So we had the big square with the polar bear, which was the um, quilt square box, or we had the super long with clear window on top under bed storage. Is Connie still here? Maybe she's filling out the registration form just so I have the address to mail it. Do my chat freeze? Much. I'll click the participants list and see if Connie's still logged on. I don't have her email, so. Well, I think, Connie, she was trying to reward you for the great idea that you gave to her about how to use it. I think that's why she wanted to gift you one as well, so that you could use your good idea too. But if Connie doesn't share her address with me, I have no way to mail anything to her. Okay, well, let's look at this luxury throw that is a beautiful, super soft red. It is 30 by, I'm sorry, it is 50 by 60. It is a brilliant ruby red. And it has these bras. very luxurious. This is going to be gorgeous, uh, draped on the end of somebody's bed or behind their sofa or, or off the corner of her or love seat. So I'm going to start this at $14. I wish y'all could feel how soft it is. This one is super duper duper soft. And I just love these super fancy pom-poms. These are soft as well. I could just like sit here and, and use them as like a stress ball. They are so soft and fantastic. So this would be great for Christmas or great if you have red in your decor all year round. Okay, so $14 starting bid. Well, I'm not pressuring anybody for information if um, I, I only need it when mailing things out. So um, you can just wait if you prefer until someday when something might need to be mailed. So no worries. Okay, I'll do a few more throws and then I will get to the slippers with grippers. Oh, 
Okay, we will pass on this luxury throw. Um, I'm gonna lower the price to $10 and show you some other choices. This one says super soft and it has a horse on it. That's gonna be the first choice. Next choice for video gamers, 50 by 60. Great for all those teenage video gamers. Next, for those of you who like some glamour, this is 50 by 60, and it's a metallic throw. Look at the gold polka dots. Super fancy. Next, if we have any cat lovers out here, look at these cute, adorable cats. These are just gorgeous. So that's the next choice. Don't fall, don't fall. Really? Okay. For those of you who like geometrics, now I know this is looking a little brown on screen. This is really eggplant in real life or kind of a puce, um, a super dark, um, maroon that has purple, I call it eggplant. And last but not least, I've got a kid's soft throw. This one is 40 by 60. So looking for $10 for choice of these throws. We've got a horse, a cat, geometric, a kid's one, and I'm not sure if I showed you, but it's got dinosaurs and triceratops and all kinds of cuteness. We've got the metallic throw in the back and we've got the video gamer. Uh, that's fabric. Would y'all like to see some bolts of fabric or some pre cut blankets that just need their uh, little edges whip stitch? Okay, last call on the blankets. Okay, we'll pass on these. Oh, the socks with grippers. Okay. Let me show one more blanket, that blanket, one more throw that I have out. This one does not have a tag on it. So I don't know the maker. I don't know the brand. I can tell you it's Buffalo plaid and I can tell you it's super soft, but because it does not have a tag, five bucks five bucks for super soft black and red buffalo plaid. That's why. No label, no tag, five bucks. Buy it now.
Okay, any interest? Just five bucks? Wish I could feel how soft it is. So if you've been wanting to try something buffalo plaid, but you weren't sure, no, it, it's, it's, it's a throw. Here is the, the stick and stick. So I will be having some material and some big blanket corners yet to come, but this one's all sewn and finished. It just does not have any kind of tag on it. Last call on this one. Any interest for just five bucks? But it's a nice big size. I've just got it folded, folded, folded for in order to fit here. But it's a nice big size, just like the rest. I would guess it's the same 50 by 60. Okay, we will pass on this one then. All right, socks with grippers, five dollars. Here's the first one. They're called popcorn slipper socks. They fit sizes four to ten and a half. Uh, I'm hoping you can see the little grippers. You might be able to see it on a lighter color instead. You can see these are fleece Sherpa lined and they have a pretty little bow. So this is the first option. I've also got these in gray. I guess I should put them going all the same way. You can see the bow a little bit better on the gray. I've also got them in teal. And if you like pretty little stars, I've got gray with some white stars on them. And they've all got this warm, fleecy Sherpa lining. Starting bid, just five bucks. five bucks and these are the slippers with the grippers do y'all see the grippers here here's the grippers as well i'm sorry i don't Any interest? Okay, let me clear these away. Some fabric, this is from Joann's, that is specifically cut as a blanket square. And I think you just whip stitch the, um, end of it. So let me see if I can show it to you here. This is one big whole piece of material. It is that ridiculously big. So it's basically already a blanket. 
um, except that it does not have a hem. That's the only thing it doesn't have is a hem. You can see here it's kind of rolling. Is it has this little edge to it. So I'm going to start these at seven bucks. Now, I think you could still use it without the uh, hem to it, but... It would look way more finished with it. So a sweet laurel pattern to it. It's okay, Connie. Don't worry about it. It's fun. Oh, good night, Sandra. We'll miss you. Okay, so these are just huge, huge, huge pieces of material that are specifically cut for blankets. So this is the starting bid, $7. So this is the first one. And they are all enormous pieces of material. Here's the second one. It's red and has white flowers. I've got this one that is a golden color and it's solid. In shades of blue, I've got this cute one with the um, presents on it. For those who love blue and white, here is this enormous piece of, of material. All to make a blanket. And last but not least, I've got this one with the astronaut. And there is kind of an alien. And there are all these little circles. Oh, look, here's the astronaut walking on space. I'm guessing this is, let me see if I can open it up here. Yet some other kind of little alien character. So these are the big, enormous pieces of a uh, blanket where I think you just have to put the hem in or like a little blanket stitch, a little whip stitch around the edge just to make it look finished. Okay, so anybody interested in these pieces? Okay, well, as we pass on these, I'm going to show them one more time in case anybody um, wanted to change their mind. So here's the first one that has the astronaut, that has the, I guess it's a robot. Here's the cute little Martian to it. And once again, these are material. They're not finished. All they need is a little uh, hem to them, a little whip stitch, blanket stitch, whatever you want to call it. I've got the blue and white print. Once again, you will see it's folded, folded, folded. Here's the little edge, which just naturally turns up. It would still be just as warm. So this one is a blue and white pattern. Here is a shades of light blue. It's got presents on it. This one is a solid golden color. Once again, you see just how many times it is folded. We've got red with beautiful white flowers. And the most elaborate one is this one with the navy border. And 
you'll see it's got this whole kind of a floral pattern on it. Here's a little bit more of it. This is the one that has probably the most elaborate pattern to it. And the only one that has the border already on it. So these are the choices. Did you see what you needed to, or do I need to show them one more time? I'm glad to show them one more time to Cool Ranch. And then after this, I'll show the two bolts of material with the cats that Lisa noticed in the background. Okay, let's see. She's going to take, let me rearrange here. Okay, she's gonna take this camel orange color, great. And she's gonna take the elegant blue and white. This one's gorgeous. Okay, great. All right, anybody else? Okay, let me show you these cat materials. This one says sleep perfect, because I'm guessing it's specifically to make sleep stuff. Um, this is what the end says. It says snuggle and uh, machine wash, 100% cotton. Um, now, I don't know exactly how much is on this. Um, so I'm going to price this whole bolt of material at five bucks. If you want it on the bolt of material, I'll send it. If you want to take it off the bolt of material, then I will take it off. I don't know if you needed the name brand or the barcode numbers or the washing instructions, but five bucks for this bolt of I love catnaps. Sleep is per perfect. Now this one's only five because there's no not much on the bolt. I'm going to have a one that's got tons and tons and tons on the bolt. So this one I'm putting at five because I'm guessing it's probably like, I don't know, a yard, yard and a half. I love catnaps. I may be allergic to cats, but I like catnaps. Okay, last call on this one. All right, let me see if I can get this big one that Lisa was seeing in the background. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. Really? Ugh. And of course it is backwards. Let's see if we can back the camera up. Okay, the bolt is, so really everything's gonna fall? Okay, let me see if I can put it up this way. Okay. It is really long and big and dense and heavy. So, all right. Let me see if I can show you just how much is on this. Oh, before I do that, I can't measure the whole thing, but I will put my ruler here for scale. So that's just how big it is. It is monstrous. Yes, it is. Okay, it's also super thick and heavy, and it matches the other one, but it's like a bigger thicker caliber. Okay. Let me show you what it says on this end. 
I can get it lined up with the camera. Okay, so this was $10.99 a yard. And it's called Blizzard because it is so thick and warm. Uh, the pattern's called Catnaps. 100% uh, polyester, machine wash. And let me see if I can put it back here so you can see how much is on it. There is a ridiculously lot of material and it is super big. Um, if anybody is interested in this, 25 bucks. Or if you want to make me an offer with this one and the other one together. So, so since they both say catnaps. Remember, people watch this on a delayed basis. And nobody wants people talking about them behind their backs. So let's be careful, even if positive and affirming. We love all of our buyers and bidders and viewers equally. especially when they tune in or watch the replay. Okay. Once again, let me see the print here. The print says sleep is perfect. And it says, I love catnaps. And I hope you can see, let me unwind a little bit of this. So you can see that it's printed on both sides which is nice. So here's the print here and here's the print here. And I'm not sure if you can see that it is super thick. And if anybody wants it, it can come on the bolt. It can come without the bolt, but I'd love to get this sold to somebody but who can use it and it's just, I'm going to show you the only snowball I've ever seen. It's a set of 20. Set of 20. And these are for an indoor snowball fight. And yes, I do have multiples of these because I know somebody's going to say, well, 20 isn't enough. They're going to run under the sofa and under furniture and we're going to lose them and 20 is not enough. Well, if 20 is not enough, then by all means, I'm glad to sell you multiples. We're, we're going to start these at five bucks, five bucks for 20 And if you're saying, but wait, what if I need to shield myself because the kids or grandkids are just throwing them every which ways? Well, I have these shield, two inflatable shields, and you, you still get. At six plus snowballs. So a five dollars for choice. The price of five. You, you can go with the set of 20 snowballs. Or you can go with the set of two inflatable shields and six plush snowballs. Also, I want to show you that the inside of the shield has the handle, so you do have a way to hold it. I like that a lot. So, 
So if it doesn't snow for you, here you go. If it's so cold that it's not safe to go outside, here you go. You want to have a snowball fight and it's the middle of summer, here you go. So some great flexibility here. There's the balls. There's the kit with the inflatable shields and a few balls as well. If anybody wants to make me an offer on both of these, make me an offer on two, three, four, ten sets. Y'all let me know. I'd love to field some offers on these or several sets of these. And Corwent says you could use these for decorating around your Christmas villages. <laughs> you know, in a Christmas village, because the scale is so small, this would be huge. You know what it would remind me of? You remember in Indiana Jones when there's that huge boulder and he's like running, running, running? This is like the snow equivalent of that kind of boulder in a Christmas village. That would be epic. Yes, 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 yes. So in this kit, you get two inflatable shields and you get six plush snowballs. Great for noticing that. Thank you so much. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for five. And I do have multiples of both of these. Anybody want to go up to six? If not, we'll count this down. And then after this, I'll show some gloves. Okay, she's going with two of the brawl and three of the snowballs. Excellent. That'll be super fun. That might be a great video to show using these. Woohoo. Okay, next I've got ladies two packs of gloves. These are going to start at five dollars for a two pack here's the first choice it has a pristine white and then you've got this gorgeous burgundy which has this little metallic thread in it that makes it really fancy looking that's going to be the first choice next choice is i've got a black once again it has that silver metallic thread and a blush colored glove. And for those of y'all who don't like the metallics, I understand. I've got a gray with black stripe and a plain black glove. So these are your th three choices of two packs. Let's see if I can fit them all in the same shot. There we go. 
Cool Ranch says, my three youngest grandsons are rambunctious little guys. This is perfect for their Christmas. Oh, absolutely. They can run all that energy off. And then when they're tired, sit down and eat with y'all or go in the other room and take a little nap. Smart. Great way for them to run off that energy. Okay, so these are choice of two packs of ladies' gloves for the low price of $5 per two pack. So it's like a pair of gloves and a spare, one for you and one for a friend. Four different outfits for, for night or for day, because these ones with the metallic thread through them, so gorgeous when you're going out in the evening, but yet you still don't want your hands to get cold. Really upscale way for evening gloves. Oh, nice. Well, what y'all may not know, I don't know how Cool Ranch does this, is I have two enormous um, laundry hampers. And one is for sold stuff. And the next day, Lisa and I go through and we're like, well, who sold it? Who was this sold to? Who was that sold to? And then we divvy it into the bins. And then I have another one for things that I'm setting aside as I go through the auction for the clearance. So I know how super handy have really big tall um laundry hamper is oh make a game of basketballs out of the snowballs yes and try to see you know how many you can catch with each other how many in a row yes and endless Okay, any interest in the two packs of gloves? Well, I'll show them one more time as I'm clearing them off. We've got the gray with the black stripe and a solid black. The super fancy black with the metallic silver uh, combined with the blush. And last but not least, in the maroon, once again, with the metallic stripe and the white. Okay, I've got some singular gloves now. Well, some single pairs, not singular. And these are that soft um, material that the socks are made from. So if you're thinking, oh, I love just petting those socks, they are so soft. You can have gloves made of that same soft, fancy material. So that's why these are still going to be $5 for just one pair, because it's made of that soft, furry, fuzzy, cozy material. So I've got these in a blush. I actually have two available in the blush. Here's the other one. And I have just one in this teal. And they are made of chenille.
but they are so super duper soft. So anybody wants your hands to be as warm and cozy as they are in those warm and cozy socks. Okay, we're going to pass on these. I have some gloves that I believe were given to my mother because I know I didn't retail arbitrage these. And let me show you this fancy design. And it's on both. I love how fancy it is. So this is the first option. And this is the second option. I'm going to start these at five as well. I also have this amazing furry headband. I wish y'all could feel this. This feels like actual fur to me. It is not marked anywhere. Don't know where it's from. Um, I have no way of proving that it's actual fur other than that I grew up with fur and know the feeling of actual fur. This just feels like actual fur to me. I'm going to add it as a choice. The headband is beige and the gloves are a sage. So sage with a black embroidery, light blue with a pink embroidery, and I believe that this is a light beige. Let me see if I can show y'all the embroidery a little closer. It's really well done. Okay, any interest? Okay, we're going to pass on these. We'll get to our clearance pretty soon, but I wanted to show a couple of children's items. I've got these three packs of mittens. These are going to be $5. So the first one is unicorns. And then the second pair is pink. And then we've got a lavender. Lavender and pink. so that's the first choice. Remember, there's three packs in each, three in each one. Here's the next one. It is black and it has pink, purple, and blue. Then there is a magenta, 
and a violet and magenta. Next, I've got cool big wheel cars, trucks, uh, solid red and a red and blue. Here's a different type of big wheel and some gray and some lightning bolts. Some dinosaurs, solid black and a green blue combo. Some kind of little monster, or maybe it's meant to be a gator or a croc, orange, and then some cute little dinosaurs. I think I finally showed you all of them. And if you'd rather have name brand, these are only two packs, but I do have a two pack of Minnie Mouse and a two pack of Paw Patrol. You get one less in the name brands, but some people prefer the name brands. Great stocking stuffers. Great to keep kids warm and safe when they're going places. How many of the unicorn and the star? Okay, let's see. I've got one and two. And one and two of the unicorn. So I have two unicorn and two of the star. Any other ones you want me to check on quantities? Oh, good night, Connie. We'll miss you. Thank you ever so much for coming into the chat. Your presence is always such a blessing to us. I look forward to you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And I hope you rest well. You are such a great part of this channel, and I appreciate your help with all of the auctions. Your comments are always so helpful and so cogent. Okay, sold. So, total of four. Now I know why you were asking. Here are all of these mittens. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so that leaves us with the two-pack of designer Paw Patrol, the two-pack of designer Mickey Mouse, the three pack with the big wheel, the three pack with the lightning, and there's a big wheel here too. The dinosaur. And I'm thinking this is meant to be a crocodile. Any other interest? Last call. Okay. Sold to Cool Ranch for five. Super cute.
All right, anybody else? Wait, Lisa, what were you cautioning me about? I know Cool Ranch bought this. Oh, and the Paw Patrol. Okay, how many Paw Patrol did you want? I've got two available. Let me know if you wanted one or both of the Paw Patrol. Oh, I would love that, Connie. If you ever join the Discord, we can talk there. Or even video chat, in case you ever wondered what I look like. <laughs> Just one each. Okay, here we go. Super cute. Okay, any other interest? Thank you ever so much, y'all. Those, those mittens are just adorable. Okay, last call on these. Oh, I'm feeling just fine. Um, here's the deal, y'all. Um, it's now dropped to 68 degrees. Um, anytime the temperature falls, uh, especially falls quickly, like it's fallen since nightfall, going from 80 uh, down to 70, down to 68, it's just when my sinuses have the pressure drop, I will get a few sneezes here and a few sneezes there. So during the four hours of the auction, you'll heard me sneeze a few times just as the pressure drops. But I am feeling just fun and dandy. We're going to do just a couple more things and then we're going to have the clearance round. But thank you for checking on me. Okay, next let me show a few hats. Okay, here's the first one. It is a Minnie Mouse set. It's a set of the hat. Look how cute. And there's the matching gloves. So in red and black, here's the hat. Here's the gloves. Here's the Disney brand tag. I am doing great, y'all. I am so sorry if I scared anything with two sneezes. I am just fine. I'm going to do a few hats and then we're going to go to the clearance. Y'all are so sweet to check on me. So I've got a couple of hats for kids. Then I've got a couple of hats for adults. Um, even a few of something called a head wrap, which once again, living down south, I don't know what half this stuff is. Hopefully y'all will help me out. And then we're going to go to the parents round. I appreciate my moderators sticking with me, even if it got late or even if they were tired. So I appreciate it. Aw, we enjoy the time with you too, Connie. Okay, so this one is a one and done. I only have one of these, $10.00 because you're getting a name brand hat and name brand matching glove for kids. Do we get the price in here? Okay, looking for 10. So remember it is hat and gloves and 
look how cute Minnie Mouse is. And I love that it's red and black. So often, Minnie Mouse stuff is pink. It's really hard to find the red and black. And yet red and black are the dark jewel tones of winter. Okay, any interest in this? If not, we'll go to the more economical, not name brand ones. But I wanted to show you this fancy one first. Especially since it is Disney brand. Okay, last call. Here's the label for this set. Well, buy it now would have been fun. That's not a big deal. Okay, we'll pass then. We're going to do these others for $5. Here's the first one. It's got some sequins as the sunglasses. It's got two cute little braids hanging. So this is the first option. Even has kind of a fin at the top. I don't know why. But this one, once again, has some hanging strings. It has a amazing kind of a knitted crocheted look. And for some reason, it's got little ears. So the first one has a fin. This one has ears. Now, here's the third one. It's got a pom-pom up here. And look at the sweet little penguin face. I just love how cute children's caps are. Oh, sending hugs to you, too. Okay, looking for $5 for these children. I think these are all just adorable. So $5 for choice. And I just love these little braids and these little, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. I guess it's just a chin tie. Oh, I should have brought out lotion, but I already said I was going to sell these and the head wraps and then go to the clearance. I meant to sell lotion. I have lotion out. Okay, last call on these. Okay. Now, these say ladies ear warmer, so I guess they're technically an ear warmer. I'm going to start these at three bucks. There's the first one. Here's the second one. And I have two of these. And then here's the last one. It's black and red. And the brand is Nautical. Nautica, sorry, Nautica Competition. So these are the three choices. 
Okay, I will grab the lotion while we are bidding on these then. Okay, sorry about that little delay. Let's see if there was any interest. Three dollars. Three dollars for these ladies' ear warmers, or I would really call it more of a forehead um, cover. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for three. Anybody for four for choice? Okay, Cool Ranch is bidding three. Lisa, do you want to count this down? Thank you so much, Lisa. So everything's a one and done except for the gray, which I have two. And look how pretty the stitching is on these. Really pretty. Okay, we're sold to Cool Ranch. Is it going to be the beige, the gray, or the black and red? Black and red, Nautica for her. Okay, great. Any other interest? Okay, let me show the men's. Okay, these are thermal energy knits. And let me show you how thick these hats are. Uh, I have just one hat for ladies and I'm going to do it after, but here's what a regular hat for ladies looks like. Look how thick these men's are by comparison. So regular hat and this one, remember, is too thick, two ply thick. So you can just imagine the thickness of this. This is how it's thermal. Let's see if it tells you on the tag. Okay, so this is the first option. It's by TEK Thermal Energy Knits. So this is going to be $5 for choice. If you're saying orange, that's going to keep me from getting shot while hunting or getting hit while doing yard work or road work. I need something that will blend in more. I do also have it in a light tan. And coming up after, I'm going to do this pretty purple hat for ladies. It even says ladies hat. 
cuffed beanie. But it's going to be less expensive because look how thick these are. That's why and how it is thermal. So $5 for choice. And even though they say men's hat, I don't know what would stop a woman from wearing it. Tan is so universal and neutral. And I'm guessing there are a few sports teams that use the orange. That would be great for if you're out at the game or for hunters. <laughs> Okay, last call on these. I do, as I say, have this one pretty purple ladies hat. If anybody's interested in this, $3, buy it now. $3 and it's yours. And I'm going to start getting out the lotions meanwhile. looks gray. Oh, let me hold something gray up to it. In fact, here's a better uh, look. The label is gray. Or here's a gray, um, you remember the gray headpiece? In fact, I got lint on it. So maybe holding the gray next to it, you can see it's purple. Purples, for some reason, never show up that great on camera. It's really prettier than it looks, but I totally understand if it doesn't look so great, but it really is a pretty purple color, kind of a heathered purple. Okay, we'll pass on that. Lotion. All right, let me start with the specialty lotion first. This one is specifically for diabetics. All of the ones after this um, will be for anybody. Um, oh, Lisa's in for three. Okay. That's going to look so pretty on you, Lisa, if you don't mind me saying that. Okay. Sold to Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here's the first lotion. It's the fanciest one I have. It's a big 13 ounce uh, pump soap. It's specifically for diabetics. It is skin soothing lotion and it's fragrance free. I know some people are looking for fragrances. Some people are looking to avoid fragrances. This one is fragrance free. It says compared to Gold Bond's ultimate diabetics dry skin relief, it moisturizes, hydrates, relieves dry skin, and it's non-greasy. I'm going to start this at seven. Starting this at seven. I don't know if there's anybody that needs or wants this. I don't really know how it's different than other lotions. I'm just reading the label to you. So we'll see if there's any interest. If not, then I will show you all the fancy um, scented ones because I do have plenty of scented ones. as well as a couple other unscented. So I'll show you this one first, and then we'll get to looking at the rest. Okay, good to know. Okay, last call on this one. We're going to go now and have the next round that is...
just five dollars. So five moisturizing lotion. It has a hydrating coconut scent. So that's gonna be the first choice by Bath Scriptions. Natural hemp and, and hemp. Once again, we're looking for a $5 starting bid. Next, I've got Advanced Recovery Skin Care Lotion, and this one is fragrance free. This is also the biggest bottle with being 24.5 ounces. I've got beauty. So if you like oatmeal leaves and protects for 24 hours, it's dermatologist tested and it's fragrance free. Next, for, for those of you who like mango, this is, oh, oops, well, I've already announced it now, so I guess it's going to be a choice. A satin soap for hands and face. I'm sorry. I thought I had all lotions here. Sorry, sorry. One other thing snuck in. Okay, Lisa's at five. Thank you, Lisa. Lots of great choices here. Scents, unscented. Okay. Well, you can always retract during an auction, so not a problem. Or if anybody wants to make an offer on multiple lotions, you can do that. Okay, last call on the lotions. Okay, good. Glad you found it. All right, y'all ready to go to the clearance? Any other interest in the lotion or any other items to request? Let's see, since we still have 10 people watching, are we ready to start the clearance? All right, let me clear these off. Okay, we're gonna do the clearance. So I took my two favorites away because I think I might want to keep those for me. I'm going to take these three remaining lotions and we're going to clearance them down to four bucks. Four bucks for this clearance. Uh, let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm going to pick some items and throw them back up. Only items that were complete and total passes. I'm going to plummet the price and we are going to clearance them out. It's going to be all buy it nows. So this first buy it now.
Now, clearance is going to be on lotions. And I'm going to go from $5 to $4 on these. Cool Ranch, the clearance price for okay. So make sure y'all act fast because the clearance round does not last long. Okay, from the clothing, this, this is one of I these were an extra large. I thought these were so pretty. I can't believe nobody picked these up. But I was asking $7 for them. And I'm going to plummet the price down to 5 Down to 5 Okay. Okay, so the pajama pants, size extra large. All right, next I had this beautiful scarf with gorgeous tassels on the bottom. It's by, here's the tag, it's by etc. I was asking $7 for this. I'm going to plummet the price to five. Five dollars for this nice, big, long surf. Seven down to five. Okay. We had these cute snowman soap dispensers. We were asking $5 for them. Oh, they're filled with peppermint cream hand soap. So not just soap, not just a dispenser, a dispenser and soap. I was asking $5 for this little cutie. I'm going to reduce this to just $4. Okay. Oops. Here we go. Scarf sold to Cool Ranch. Thank you so much. Okay. So the snowman Soap dispenser filled with peppermint cream soap was at five dollars. It is now down to four dollars. Okay, we had Christmas cards that were $3. We're going to go down to $2 for any of these 16 count of Christmas cards. So from $3 down to $2, I do 
still have two of the snowmen just one of the snowy village and just one of the sweet church. Okay, I had this mini mouse set with hat and gloves uh disney brand i was asking 10 for the set i'm gonna price drop it down to eight eight dollars for the mini mouse set of hat and gloves It's a one and done. Only one of these available. I also had these thermal men's hats. I was asking $5 for them. I'm going to clear it's the price out to $4. Going down to $4 on the men's hats. Likewise, I'm going to plummet these children's hats down to 4 bucks. So $4 for the kids' hats as well. And I think that's going to do it for the clearance round tonight. I want to thank my moderators, Cool Ranch Dorito with the fastest fingers in town and the solution to any problem that comes up. I want to thank my list maker extraordinaire, Lisa M. Adventure. Make sure you watch Lisa with her fun family adventures with her loving husband, Mike, Mr. Adventure, and their two-year-old toddler, Evie. She released two shorts just this week alone. Make sure you also watch and subscribe to Cool Ranch Dorito, who has fantastic auctions and has such grace and poise and kindness. So make sure you follow both of these ladies who I am proud to call a friend and so generously donate their time to me to be mods as well. So y'all have two great days as I pack and pad and box and weigh and calculate shipping and invoice. And then I will see y'all back on Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. for our next Bargains by Bell 